I'm going to start this drawing with the back leg. So R for rectangle, I'm going to go 1.5 comma 3. I'm using a 2 by 4, but I'm going to rip it down to 3 inches so I get a nice square edge all the way around. P for push pull, let's push it this direction, 36 inches. T for tape measure, and let's add a guideline off the bottom, 18 inches. L for line, from that point to this midpoint. P for push pull, let's chop that off. That's about a 5 degree angle, and I'm going to use that as my back. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. That's one leg in the back, M for move, control brings up copy, set one side by side, then move it again with a spacing of 16 inches in between parts. R for rectangle, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my first half lap piece. This the dimensions say that's 19 left and right, so 19 comma 3, enter. P for push pull, let's push it in 0.75 inches, and then let's go to the back, R for rectangle. And let's draw the rest of this 2x4. P for push pull, this direction, 0.75 inches, enter. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. That's the first one up on top. M for move, control brings up copy, set one side by side, and then let's drop one down again, 10 more inches. And now we can go ahead and edit this leg for R for rectangle to cut out my half laps. P for push pull, let's push it in, 0.75 inches. I'm also going to use the line command to chop this off, constraining to that line. So I got about a five degree back with a perpendicular line, so I'm going to have about a five degree cut right here. Uh, R for rectangle, let's cut off the rest of this half lap. P for push pull. And if I'm going to use, actually, no, I can't use it just yet. Hold on, I'll tell you in just a second. Alright, I'm going to turn my axis off so that doesn't get too confusing. Now I need some vertical pieces in here, so R for rectangle. My dimensions say that is 16 inches tall, so 3, 1, 6, enter. Let's go ahead and just move this away from that side 3 inches. P for push pull, let's push it in a full uh, 1.5 inches, so I can go ahead and constrain to this back line right here. And this time I'm going to use the R for rectangle to cut my half laps on the vertical piece first. So P for push pull. Let's push this push this in 0.75 inches. Enter. And if I've already used 0.75 on my push pull and I want to duplicate that, all I have to do is double click. Uh, someone was nice enough to tell me that. I didn't know about that with the push pull command. And uh, it's hard for me to implement because I'm not used to it, but it does save time. So space bar, triple click, G for component. Enter M for move, control brings up copy, set another one in this corner, and then move it away from the corner three inches. So now that I have both my vertical pieces into these horizontal pieces, I can edit these horizontal pieces and cut the half lap in the back. So let's go ahead and put these in here. P for push pull, let's just double click to repeat my three quarter inch uh, three quarter inch push pull command. And that's pretty much my back. Uh, T for tape measure, let's go ahead and drop another one that is 0.75 inches away. So this Guideline is uh, 17 and 1 quarter inch off the ground. R for rectangle, let's just add this one. My dimensions say that is 19 inches left to right, so 3, comma, 1, 9, enter. P for push pull, and I'm going to push it this direction, 0 0.75 inches. 0 0.75, enter. Back up. 0.75, enter. R for rectangle from this intersection to this intersection. P for push pull this direction, 0.75 inches, enter. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Now, the reason I did that is when I put my seat on here, uh, I, don't want, I don't want this face to be inset in, the, in back here. I want just a little bit of a lip. So it's just gonna be a rabbit for right here. Now I can start in on my legs. So R for rectangle, let's go three comma, 1.5, enter. P for push pull, and I'm just going to push it to the top of here, which is 17 1 quarter inch. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter, M for move, and I want a spacing front to back of 12 inches in between legs. R for rectangle, that gives me a nice spot to draw my horizontal piece here, and I can constrain to this end point, so I don't have to type any dimensions at all. P for push pull, let's push it in 0.75 inches. R for rectangle, let's spin around, draw the back side of that horizontal piece. P for push pull, push it this direction, whoa, 0 0.75 inches. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Now let's modify this front leg for that half lap, R for rectangle. Let's push this in, 0 0.75 inches, space bar, 
or actually get out of there. Let's modify this horizontal piece. Power for rectangle, and I can duplicate because I was pushing in 0.75, so double click. I guess I was wrong. Let's push it in 0.75 inches, enter. Now I should be able to duplicate that. So R for rectangle on this back leg. P for push pull, double click. And it's going the wrong way again. 0.75 inches, enter. Alright, whatever. There's my horizontal leg, and I've got like a first rabbit, then three and three quarter half lap on top, and three inch half lap over here. So that's going to be pretty interesting looking. This leg is in the correct spot, but the wrong orientation, so let's flip it along the red so my half lap's on the outside. Then I can modify this again, P for push, pull this face back to this face. Alright, now I've got these two pieces completed, so M for move, control brings up copy. And I'm going to copy it from one leg to the other, but they are both in the wrong orientation. Flip along the red, and now they are in the proper orientation. R for rectangle, and I can draw this half lap piece right here. Push it in, 0.75, enter, R for rectangle, and I can actually draw on the back side of that face without looking at it with my K command brings up the hidden lines, for whatever, uh, for whatever case that may be necessary or helpful, um, but yeah, if you push pull this direction, 0.75 inches, enter, the K keyboard button toggles your uh, it toggles your hidden lines. In some cases it's very helpful, in some cases it's confusing, but yeah, that's that. Spacebar, let's see, I never cut my half laps yet, so let's double click this, R for rectangle, and cut this half lap real quick. Goodness, I'm not having good luck with the double click thing. 0.75 inches, enter, and this one, R for rectangle. If you push pull, let's push it in, 0.75 inches, enter. And because these are copies of this one, they updated uh, correctly. I also want to add one more horizontal piece down here, so let's just go ahead and do this. Dimension say that's 18 left and right, comma, 3 inches from my height. Let's take this whole thing and let's move it up along the blue axis 2 inches. That was not the blue axis. Move it up 2 inches, enter. Uh, P for push pull, let's push it in, 0.75 inches, enter, R for rectangle, go to the back side, whoops, from here to here, P for push pull, let's push it up to this face, face bar, triple click, G for component, enter, uh, edit this leg, R for rectangle, let's cut the other side of this half lap, P for push pull, let's push it in, 0.75 inches, enter, let's modify this back leg, R for rectangle, let's push it in, 0.75 inches, enter, that's it, so let's copy this, M for move, control brings up copy, right click, flip it along the red. So that's pretty much the chair, um, let's go ahead and add a little cushion real quick, uh, P for push pull, let's push this, whoa, R for rectangle, P for push pull, Oh, I never made that a... F okay, let me back up. Spacebar, triple click, G for component, enter. I never made that a component. Now let's see if this works a little bit better. There we go. P for push pull. Let's push it up 0.75 inches. And just to make this look like a cushion, you can do this multiple ways, but I'm just going to go, I don't know, something like this. 1.5 for my height. Let's just go over a little bit. Alpha line, let's go up just a tad. And let's use A for arc to connect the dots, and blue brings up, what in the world, there we go, tangent to vertex, which was up here. And to make this transition nice and smooth, let's just do that. So, not perfect, not incredibly ugly. There's my path, follow me, there's my profile, P for push pull, let's push this up to this face, and now I can go ahead and delete all these little lines because they are no longer needed. Spacebar, triple click, G for component, enter with it still selected. I can right click and say smoothen edges. This is going to be an upholstered seat, so just go ahead and smoothen it all off. And uh, yeah, I guess that'll be alright. 
All right, with all my chair components done, uh, let's go ahead and add some color to this thing. Let's select all of the uh, the the same orientation horizontal pieces, and let's give them a color. Um, that's going to be fine. And let's select all the other orientation horizontal pieces. Let's give them a color. That'll be fine. And let's select all my vertical pieces and give them a color. That'll be fine. I should have done some higher contrast there, but oh well. My seat, let's give this like a chocolate brown leather seat. So that's it. That's the half lap chair uh, prototype. If I like it, I may make a whole uh, dining set with it. I'm not exactly sure yet, but uh, I will be building this, and it should be a little bit of fun. A bunch of half laps, but it should be some fun.